Hello, today I'll go through how to split a graphic into segments in InDesign. Normally this is done in print software, but because I'll be doing the job applying the vinyl myself and avoid any misunderstanding with the print house that will print this, I want to split the document myself. First, let's take a look at my project. I want to get this graphic on an office wall, which dimensions are 4.8 times 3.1 meters. Best way to apply this is from top to bottom in strips. Since this will be printed on 1.37 meters with vinyl, I want to get my strips as close to that as possible. Best way is to divide this graphic with 4. So I'll end up with 4 equal 1.2 meter strips. Now that I know my dimensions, I can move to InDesign. In Create New Document window, I'll set dimensions for page 1. Select Orientation and Number of Pages. In this example, 4 are needed. I'll also unselect Facing Pages option. Then at the bottom, in Bleed and Slug panel, I'll set Bleed at 5 mm. Now all I need is Overlap. Since I'll be applying this from left to right side, I need overlap on the right. To get that, I'll extend bleed on the right side to 30 mm. Once that is set, I'll press Create and move on. Before we begin, if you are not familiar with InDesign and your workspace might look different than mine, it's because I use Classic Workspace. You can change it here and click on Essential Classic. You probably have less panels, but you can add them from window menu up here. With that out of the way, let's start. First, go to Pages panel, which is over here on the right side, and select All Pages. Then right-click and unselect these two options. This will allow us to move pages to a single row like so. Then import graphic or an image to your canvas. Resize it so that it stretches across whole four pages. To do that, drag graphic frame up to bleed area on all sides. Bleed distance is represented by a red line. Once you're done and if your design is not same size, press fill frame proportionally or fit content proportionally, whichever fits better. In my case, I'll go with fill frame proportionally, and that cuts off graphic at the bottom and the top. I don't care about the top part, but I need to fix the bottom. When graphic is selected, just move mouse to center of graphic and click on a circle. This will select graphic and it will display its full size. Now you can move it or resize it. To your liking. On a such a big graphic, always check edges so that everything is perfect. For those that are confused by this, look at it like so. Graphic frame is some sort of a mask. And then inside that, you got graphic, which you placed. All images, PDF files or whatever you're imported to InDesign has this graphic frame, which is independent of its content inside. When we are satisfied with placement, we can save or just go for export. For export, go to File, Export, and under PDF Presets, choose Press Quality. Then, in Pages panel, select All Pages, and below, check Export as Pages. In Compression, if you got some special needs, change it, but as default, this is OK for print. Under Marks and Bleeds, check Crop Marks and Bleed Marks. Below, check Option Use Document Bleed and Settings. This will copy Bleed options from Document. After this, press Export and we're done. Now we got a PDF file ready for print in Scale with Bleeds. If you send file like this to print house, all they need to do is import to print software and print. If before print, we want to be sure 
that all is ok, we can import this to InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator or Corel Draw and check. In this demonstration, I'll do it in Corel Draw. Import PDF and select all pages. Once processed, press anywhere on paper to place image on artboard. Since this PDF has 4 pages, Corel will add 3 pages to the document and place each slice on a separate page. In Corel 2020, best way to get all 4 pages to a single side is to go to Object Panel. If you don't have it, on the quick list press plus icon on the bottom and add it from the list, like so. Then move all graphics to a master page. Once you got all together, then just simply snap them together like so. I'm using trim marks as a guide. At the end, I like to draw a rectangle on trim marks, to be 100% sure everything fits. Hope this helped you and see you next time.